Greetings everyone. This uh, video is to discuss automatic certification generation. We'll be using Python. Uh, this video is being recorded because uh, many students and uh, many academicians have been inquiring about how to run this code. And uh, many of them are facing problem related to this Google Drive. So in this video what we'll do? We'll try to run the complete code assuming that we don't have any knowledge about Google Drive okay uh, three main things will be required one is Google Sheet containing data blank certificate and a font file okay. I'll start from scratch and uh, try to explain in the most simplest way okay. first we'll start with opening the code this is the address where we have the code. Let's click on it. We'll have Google Colab, which is completely online. Because this notebook, this is called as notebook, is associated with my account. You won't be able to edit. So you will have to make a new copy, file, save a copy in drive okay one copy will be generated if you are logged in into gmail it will automatically generate or else you have to log in into your gmail account uh, we'll just edit this as demo i'll close this code okay. so first thing is about google drive okay we are not going to use but still just for the sake of continuity, we'll run it, associate it with our Gmail account. Till it gets authenticated, we'll download one simple certificate. If you have a ready certificate, you can use it. To make this demonstration interesting, I'll download a casual certificate. any certificate. I will say a blank one so that you can print things on it. Okay, this looks good enough. So right click, save. I will create a folder on desktop. asking for authentication I'll say allow use it with my personal gmail account yes hello done ok so this code will decide whether we want to test or we want to complete a new project because we are demonstrating a new project, we will say new. Run this, shortcut key is shift yes for running the cell or else we can click on play button here where it is running right now. Okay, we will answer as new. This will be interesting. It is asking for ID, CSV file ID. Right now we don't have a CSV file. In this code, we have to access my drive. But what we will do, we will take a copy from the work environment, here it is mentioned, click on this, open the online responses, again because this is on my system associated with my gmail, you won't be able to do anything, so make a copy again, we will name this as demo get saved in our uh, Google Drive but like I said um, I'll change the folder also so that uh, this doesn't get affected let's 
save anywhere in my drive. Address is not important. Save anywhere. And close this original one. So here we have our own certificate. This is our own responses file. This is our own code. Okay. So we are ready to go. We require the ID. I'll copy from here. After D forward slash till this slash before edit. I will copy, paste, enter. It will ask for file name. Our file name is mo space. Again, for uh, avoiding any mistakes, I will remove the space here. Copy, paste, enter. Done. Okay, so the responses have been saved in a pandas data frame. Let's visualize. Run this cell. Yes, very good. So what I will do, assuming that we have a new work to do, I'll make all these things blank. Email address will keep as it is. Score will make say 129. Okay, it's out of 60. Okay. Maybe. 45, 48. Okay, we'll go with three things. We can make n number of files, n number of certificates, but uh, because this is demonstration, certificates will be generated quickly. Let's say Vijay Kumar, then Nishal, then this Sanjay. Okay, USN. Anything, maybe EC one double zero ten thousand one, EC ten thousand two, EC ten thousand three. Enter. Okay, we'll try to print only two, but once you get the gist of it, you can do anything. Maybe we'll print event for the learning purpose. Say event. We'll say demo. Demo two. Three. Okay. So save this. We have to run this one more time because we edited the data frame. Run this cell. Type new. Copy the heading. So why we are doing this is we changed the Excel sheet CSV file. So we have to reload the pandas data frame. You can copy paste anything. Okay. Again, we have generated our DF should update. Now we have name USN event. Right. I close this tab. So final requirement is our TTF file. I just refer this. So three main requirements: Excel sheet ready, code is ready, certificate is ready. The last piece is TTF. Either we can download this same TTF file. We have this already here. TTF is two type fonts. Or else, if you want something new, we can download online also. TTF file download. Any interesting font we can download. Sorry, just for uh, making this demo interesting, I'll uh, download some fancy. Maybe this looks nice. Let's see whether TTF is being downloaded. It says done. Let me check. Okay, this is OTF file. We require TTF. Okay, this is TTF. I'll use TTF here. Download the TTF file. Open the zipped folder. We'll find a TTF file. Copy. For time's sake, I'll save it with the JPG file. Okay, so we have the files here. Let's continue. So we'll skip this part. This is confusing for many people. So we'll just skip this part. We'll not use the Google Drive. We'll directly load the files in our runtime. Here we'll upload the files runtime. The disadvantage is they will get deleted once we close this window. So we'll upload our certificate. 
and the two fans okay open see we have a warning that uh, when runtime is terminated the files will be deleted say okay copy this address how to copy the address click on these three dots copy path paste it here where we have font playfair.ttf replace this next instead of blank certificate.jpg we'll take this name copy the address paste okay. we can write anything on this we have three different fields name us and event but we have only two fields name usn so what we do we will add event also just copy paste this code you can decrease on increase the number of fields okay i hope capital e should not make a problem or let's take capital e itself and uh, we'll name this as usn just a minute capital e v and d okay so it will be saved in df underscore event we'll read it as text at this third field event underscore text df underscore event so we are trying to add an extra information on the certificate we can like i said increase or decrease also okay, so everything is ready so we can write uh, name usn okay and uh, our event okay. instead of usn underscore font we'll call this as event underscore font font is ready instead of usn underscore text we will say event underscore text instead of usn font event font ok so because these two are on same places and uh, same sizes we will try to change the size first we will try to change the event size say i will make this as 30 250 500 we will make this as 750 these are pixel positions will run once once we get to know that it's running we'll change the pixel positions some error is there cannot open resource name font okay i did not change this part we'll change this and ask it to run our ttf file okay so simple error nothing to worry yes done so it's generating files will be here for time being only when we run the next part it will be downloaded so we'll just refresh this and check whether our uh, reads are proper double click the demo will be given here okay something is uh, not printed here so what we can do is we'll just download and see once more seems like this file is very very small so what we will do we will change the pixel positions as per our requirement okay. we will right click open with paint ok this is really very small 300 by 260 pixels so very small size what we will do we will try to expand this will be lost but our demo will be proper ok so we have a proper certificate 672 length is also less because we have used 750 for the event I will increase this little more the more you practice these will be really very really easy for you 
within 15 to 20 minutes you can generate uh, thousands of certificates okay seems okay to me i'll save this we'll try to delete this and upload that file one more or uh, can overwrite also i'll just upload the file here this is our larger file code will be overwriting the things repeatedly we will run this part one more time new certificates will be generated refresh open python ok very nice so things are getting printed this is beautiful ok so this is very very low we will try to add it uh, somewhere here so roughly this might be at uh, thousand length is some 2700 size we will keep it at 800 demo we will add at 800 horizontal will keep as it is sorry horizontal will change vertical will uh, give same number 500 by 500 here so it will print on the same line okay let's run one more time if we succeed in our uh, work, we will close this. Yes, okay. This file size uh, font is not good. We will just uh, increase the font size. Instead of 30, I will uh, give 70. Excuse. I will run this one more time. And this time, uh, this USN and event name will be of same font. Okay. Let's refresh. Run this. Yes. Done. So beautifully done. We can visualize others also. Say Vijay Kumar. Different USN. Different event. Then Nishchal. Different USN. Different event. Okay. So things are working perfectly. We'll close all the tabs. And we'll download run this part so files will be downloaded many minute changes can be done for uh, generating any type of certificates the uh, code is very much readable and uh, will be available for any discussions so once downloaded you can open and uh, view the files and because it is in zipped folder uh, it is not showing preview run first one second one third one so based on the requirement you can make any changes plus we can generate literally thousands of files by using this excel sheet we have to keep adding these things okay i hope uh, this will help everyone to run the code by themselves even though if you find any other doubts don't hesitate to contact thank you all the best